General Ludovic is here, my lady. Your Royal Highness. You may withdraw, Marianne. Let me look at your highness. Five years is a long time. You've altered a great deal. A child has become a fine lady. Your most loyal subjects wouldn't know you. I must get to know my people again. I realize now I shouldn't have stayed away so long. Why not? A young lady is only young once, your highness. And no one was to know that the Grand Duke would die so suddenly or so soon. And then I feel guilty, as though I'd neglected my country. I stood in the cathedral at my father's funeral this morning, and when the final requiem was finished, I saw those thousands of eyes looking at me. And there seemed to be accusation in them, as if they were saying, so you've deigned to come back to your poor country. They weren't saying that at all, Your Highness. They were wondering, what does the Grand Duchess rarely look like under her deep veil of mourning? Perhaps. Perhaps. General, I must make a state appearance as soon as possible. Perhaps next week... No, Your Highness. You will not make a state appearance, either next week, or next month, or next year. What do you mean? I mean, Your Highness, that the people of Luxembourg will never meet their new Grand Duchess. At least, not the real Grand Duchess. I don't understand. Don't you, Your Highness? What is this? Are you intending to take my place? Are you? Let us say that I shall be the power behind the throne, Your Highness. But you will not be on that throne. You mean to kill me? No one will answer that bell, Your Highness. My troops are in complete command of the palace. This is treason! And yet it will benefit the country, if that's of any interest to you. How? I have arranged to sign a treaty of friendship and mutual assistance with Russia. You have arranged it? Without the royal consent? The treaty will be signed by the Grand Duchess Therese. But I am the Grand... I said the Grand Duchess Therese. The fact that the lady's original name was Madeleine de Chatelon will never be known to the people. You are insane. Madeleine in my place, a treaty with Russia? Why should Russia want a treaty with us anyway? What can a nation the size of Russia hope to gain from it? Let us say that Luxembourg will become the point of a Russian dagger aimed at the heart of Western Europe. A listening post for the Tsar's emissary. You are selling my country into slavery. A very comfortable slavery, Your Highness. Luxembourg will be better off than she has ever been before. On Russian money? Blood money? I have arranged a loan for the International Banking House of Monte Cristo. The Count of Monte Cristo is coming here in person today. His money will pay the army and keep the troops happy whilst I consolidate my position. You have it all worked out. A loan, a treaty, a new Grand Duchess. And myself guiding the destinies of a new Luxembourg. It's a pity you will never see the results. Then I am going to die. For the present you will remain under close guard. Your further future depends on your own behavior. You mean I'm to beg for my life to you, to my cousin Madeleine? Don't ask too many questions, Your Highness. If you force me to make a quick decision, it can only be an unpleasant one. And now I have to receive the Count of Monte Cristo. Good day, Your Highness. Count is waiting, sir. The Count of Monte Cristo? Yes, General Ludovic, I presume. I'm delighted, sir. Uh, please inform the Grand Duchess that we're at her command. My dear Count, I'm deeply indebted to you for the promptness with which you've come to Luxembourg. Oh, on the contrary. I'm flattered that Luxembourg should turn to me in its hour of need. The Grand Duke was a fine man. His loss would be heavily felt. You uh, knew him? Yes, we met in Paris quite often. And his daughter, Therese? No, I never had the honor. Oh, you, uh, you have the honor now. May I present 
the Count of Monte Cristo, the Grand Duchess Therese. Your Highness. We welcome you to Luxembourg, Count. Thank you. May I express my deepest feelings in your bereavement? Thank you. And add that the banking house of Monte Cristo is at your country's service. You will grant us the loan then, Count? Well, I am a banker, Monsieur. And your letter told me of your forthcoming treaty with Russia. What greater guarantee could I have for my money? Here's the draft of the agreement. Thank you. It is a pleasure to deal with a man of business acumen. You have my gratitude, Count, and that of the people of Luxembourg. Your Highness wishes the details to be left to me. Of course, General. Excuse me. You will stay at the palace, Count. Thank you, Your Highness. I have no doubt you're tired after your long journey. You too must be tired. I'm told you traveled all the way from Switzerland in the last four days. I have, Monsieur. Traveling must suit Your Highness. You look as fresh as a spring morning. Oh, <laughs> you flatter me, Count. Until later, then. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a message for Your Highness from the Duke of Saint-Germain. He wishes you to know that Janelle is the mother of fine twins. I am delighted, Count. I'll write my congratulations to Janelle this very day. Thank you again. Always at your service, Your Highness. Thank you. Well, Rico, Jacopo, is everything to your liking? Perfect, Edmond, perfect. Wine you can dream about. Servants by the dozen at your beck and call. Yes, too many servants. I'm wondering why. Jacopo's right. Hospitality, Edmond, they want us to be comfortable. Or perhaps they don't want to give us cause to leave our rooms. Hmm? Why not? Yes, why not? Something wrong? No, nothing at all. Except I have just met the Grand Duchess. What's disturbing about that? Oh, nothing. Only the fact that she's not the Grand Duchess. You're out of your mind, Edmond. Am I? Then listen. I brought a message from the Duke of Saint-Germain to say that Janelle had twins. The Grand Duchess said that she was going to write her letter to congratulate Janelle today. Well, why shouldn't she? Oh, she can. Why not? Except that Janelle can't read. She is a horse. A horse? Janelle is a filly given to the Duke of Saint-Germain by Her Royal Highness Teresa, now Grand Duchess of Luxembourg. But what's it mean? It means that the woman I met is an imposter. Why? I don't know, but we are going to find out. Yes, Jacopo? Jacopo says it's none of our business. Isn't it, Jacopo? What if the real Duchess is prisoner in this palace? What if General Ludovic is behind this matter? What would he want? My money, which the real Grand Duchess would be too proud to ask for, and a treaty with Russia, which would give him dictatorship over his nation. Palace? Search? You're right, Jacopo. We have got to find out if the real Duchess is here. In a palace seething with servants? Or spies? Guards in every courtyard? The direct approach is always the best. To what? To the real Grand Duchess, of course. Come in. Rang, monsieur? Yes, but uh, only one of you will do. Thank you. Come here, my man. Do you know what this is? But of course, monsieur. It's a money pouch. Ah, good. Jacopo? And that? A dagger, monsieur. Correct. Now, which one would you prefer? Which would I prefer, monsieur? Yes. This to fatten your purse, or that to tickle your throat? Uh, I'm afraid I, I'm not quite certain what oh, you mean, monsieur. Come. The choice is a very simple one. This for telling us where the real Grand Duchess is. The the Duchess? Yes. And that, if you refuse, which one shall it be? Monsieur, uh, Which? Uh, she's... She's in the West Wing, monsieur. Under arrest? Yes. By order of General Ludwig? Yes. But please, I beg of you, sir, Where don't... is the West Wing from here? Across the courtyard. Over there? Yes. And 
the corridors leading there are closely guarded, huh? Closely, sir. Then I go another way. Give him his gold, Jacopo. The closet will make an excellent place for him to count his wealth. Don't be alarmed, Your Highness. I'm a friend. May I present myself? The Count of Monte Cristo. The Count of Mo How did you get in here? Through the window. How do I know you're a friend? I have a message from the Duke of Saint Germain. Janelle is the mother of twins. Oh, uh, Phyllis? No, they'll grow up to be two very fine stallions. Oh. But, Monsieur, the way you came in here, you know what's happening? Only part of it. Is it General Ludwig? Yes, oh, yes. You see, I'm a prisoner here. He has control of the army, he's making a peace treaty with Russia, and now he'll have your money. Yes, he's feathering his nest very well. Who's the young lady he's using to replace you? Oh, my cousin Madeline. She's so bewildered by her jealousy of me, not to speak of her feelings toward the general. She'll do anything he wants. Oh, you mustn't feel too harshly towards her. No, it is the general I'm not thinking kindly about. Is there anything you can do? I'm not asking for myself. But for my people. Don't worry about your people. They'll get bread. Now, about General Ludwig. We must find a way to... Search all the rooms. Oh, save yourself. Only so that I can save you later. General Ludwig has ordered your removal. We leave immediately. My dear friend, the Count of Monte Cristo. And how is the Grand Duchess? I asked, how is the Grand Duchess? She's very well. It's not pleasant to discover that one has been fooled. You didn't expect me to believe in your imitation, Duchess. It would have made things easier. For you? No, for you. I was forced to move against the Duchess in the interests of the country. But I'm sure that you will place a different construction on my acts. Come now, General. You do better to be honest about your ambition. You intend to take over this country at any cost. A rare quality. I admire it. I take it you also admire the Grand Duchess. My dear General, I admit I came to Luxembourg to see the lady, but now I've seen her. I'll put it to you. If you were a banker, which one would you back? A weak woman or a ruthless man? The man, of course. Especially if he'd been wise enough to enlist Russia in his cause. You see, it's a matter of business. Your motives don't interest me, but your success does. The authorization for your loan, General. You're very generous, Count. I shall dispatch a messenger with this to Paris immediately. In the meantime, you'll dine with me tonight, of course, to celebrate our association. It will be my pleasure. Not at all. Mine, monsieur. What are you doing, Edmond? Buying a little time. For what? To save the neck of a pretty duchess and uh, the future oh, of her country. Uh, You'd better think of our own necks first, Edmond. Guards everywhere. God. Oh. I'd say the first blood went to the general. A fine mess, Edmond. Trapped. The general is not all. 
to keep us here safely until he thinks the money is on its way from Paris. That's very thoughtful of him. But I'll get impatient waiting here. But why wait? Jacopo, get a quilt from the bedroom. A quilt? A quilt. Right here, Jacopo. No, you won't sleep here. Light it, Jacopo. Go on, light it. Fire! Fire! Call out the guards! Fire! Draw the guards off to the left. I'll meet you as soon as I can by the postern gate. Right. to satisfy my curiosity about you. You are hardly in a position to play riddles, Monsieur Le Comte. There's no riddle about Luxembourg law. The penalty for treason is death. General Ludovic administers the law here, and he's only putting me in my rightful place. You mean he's putting your pretty little neck under the blade of the guillotine? You're mad. He can't prevent it. Not without an army in a treaty with Russia. Are you trying to frighten me with fairy tales? He has an army, and he has a treaty. They both depend on me, Madeleine, on my money. But he's getting your money. You authorized the loan, gave him your note on your Paris bank. You... It's a trick. You tricked him. A possibility I wouldn't overlook, if my life depended on it. No. Ludovic's too clever for that. He wouldn't be victimized by a trick. He wouldn't have let me escape and come here either, if he knew about it. Why did you come here? What do you want from me? The only possible thing that may save your neck. Tell me where the Grand Duchess is. And have Ludovic kill me? Perhaps I could save you from Ludovic. But I cannot save you from the anger of this nation when the General's plans collapse. Well, it's your decision. Where are you going? I've delivered my warning. Apparently you won't listen. No, wait. If I tell you where the Grand Duchess is, will you tell her what I've done? How I've tried to help? You have my word. And what about the general? Can you protect me from him? When the Duchess is restored to power, yes. Will you tell me where she is? She's at my gamekeeper's cottage, on the road to Corbien. Thank you, Madeleine. I'll need three horses. I'll provide them. I'll have them sent to the south gate immediately. You won't regret this? I trust not. Edmund! He's around here somewhere. Search this way. I've got the horses. You must go quickly. Mount! Thank you, Madeline. You little fool! Throwing everything away just to save your own stupid neck! Who told you? Your head groom. I get more loyalty from the servants than I get from you. You tell Monte Cristo where the Duchess is. He was right about you. Did you? Yes! <laughs> The irony of it. You wanted Therese to live. And it's you who've killed her. And Monte Cristo, too. How? Why? When he gets to that gamekeeper's cottage, my guards will be waiting for him. He 
You won't even see them until their guns are blasting into his face. My orders are that Therese shall die as the price of any interference. Looks quiet and peaceful there. Well, what are we waiting for? Do you want to go along, Jacopo? Perhaps you're right. have the power of Russia behind you. I gave orders we weren't to be disturbed. Monte Cristo! I regret the interruption, but I thought you should know that the real Grand Duchess is attending divine service at the cathedral before the eyes of thousands of her subjects. Attending service? Guards! Guards! I'm sorry, General. They are not here. Not here? Uh, you should know that soldiers don't serve without pay. No pay? What is this? Uh, the, the money's on its way. That's not what the soldiers have been told. And that's not what I'm telling you now. You signed the note authorizing the loan. But not with my banking signature, General. I'm afraid your envoy is going to receive a rather hot reception from the police in Paris. I'll hold you to your agreement. I'm afraid, General, you no longer represent Luxembourg. And my country has no sympathy with failure. Well, General, we have a settlement to make. Would you prefer to surrender to the gentler mercies of the Duchess? <laughs> <laughs> Jacopo is trying to explain that you were going to write a letter to Janelle congratulating her on having twins. But Janelle is a horse. <laughs> <laughs> My lady, your subjects are asking for you in the city square. The carriage is waiting. Then we shall go to them. Oh, Madeleine, please come too. I should like to have you by my side. I would like you to know, Your Highness, that your country will get the loan. Please allow me the honor of putting Luxembourg on its feet again. Oh, Count, I can never thank you enough for what you've done for us. So please, let my people speak for me.